Now I will come to our second sociologist, the Aytem Fahri Fundikoğlu. As I said before, he is also born in the same year with him, the Ayrıca, 1901, at, at the beginning of 20th century. And in, he died in the same year in 1921. Okay, now he, while uh, Hilmi Ziya Ülken graduated from Istanbul Sultani, Zaytun uh, Fahri Fındıkoğlu went to uh, Postal Telegraph School, a school that trained uh, technical personnel for post offices, for telegrams and uh, telegraphs and etc. And then in 1922 24, uh, he went to, he joined uh, Dar al Finun, at, he was, it was still Dar al Finun at that time. Uh, and then as he graduated from philosophy department of Dar al Finun, he became a teacher. And for example, he became a philosophy teacher uh, in Erzurum uh, Lycée, in Erzurum High School. And uh, in 1924, in 1925, he moved to Sivas uh, Lycée, uh, and also he he came to Ankara Erkek Ankara Erkek Lycée uh, High School for for male and high school for girls. So he lectured there. Uh, in 1930, he went to Strasbourg, France, uh, to do. Uh, his PhD in uh, sociology and philosophy. Yes, okay, in 1930-33, he was there, and then he came back in 1933 when Finon was closed and Istanbul University was open. He joined uh, Istanbul University uh, in the faculty of uh, the, uh, literature and the name of the uh, and and his position was called İstimaiyat ve Ahlak Docentliği. İstimaiyat ve Ahlak. İstimaiyat Sociology, Ahlak Ethics. So, uh, professor of uh, associate professor of uh, sociology and ethics. So he is appointed as uh, associate professor of uh, sociology uh, in 1933. Uh, no, no, let me see. Uh, when was that? Uh, he came back from uh, Strasbourg University. He finished uh, his thesis in 1936. And he joined uh, this time after his uh, uh, obtaining his PhD, uh, Faculty of uh, Economics. Faculty of Economics of Istanbul University. And there, uh, in competition with Hilmi Ziya Ülken, who was in uh, Istanbul University uh, Faculty of Literature, Department of Sociology, İçtimaiyyat, uh, he established uh, a culture, a sub-department in, uh, in the Faculty of Economics, on again on it's uh, it's still continuing social change uh, on social change. Uh, so after that he was in that faculty. For example, uh, during uh, at one period uh, he became uh, he worked together with a German professor Gerhard Kessler, and he translated his book. Uh, in 1941, he became a professor, uh, and he became he established this uh, social, uh, uh, political, uh, social siyaset, social uh, politics, social politics, political sociology. Perhaps it can be called political sociology, uh, and also he became a dean of the. Uh, Faculty of Economics of Istanbul University, uh, and then retired in the same year that Hilmi Ziya Ülken retired in 1973. And after retiring, after one year in 1974, uh, he died. Okay, 
Now, if we take a look, a brief look into uh, his books, uh, just and just compare them, Hilmi uh, Ziya Ülken's books, uh, are there uh, areas that intersect, or uh, or are, are they following uh, different uh, trajectories? Uh, a, a similar trajectory, güzergah trajectory is güzergah. Uh, a similar trajectory or a divergent uh, trajectory. Now, some of his books, let me. Uh, now I will go back uh, to uh, the Atom Fire from the Fall. And I was just mentioning some of his books just to compare uh, in Zia Ulkan's books and his trajectory of how you know, he is looking at society and state uh, and ch social change and development. From the Colors, for example, one book I was just mentioning in 1938 is Development of. Uh, scientific and philosophical life in Turkey. Huh? So he is he is concentrating on like similarly like uh, history of Turkish thought. He was very focused and Fari Fundukolo also focused on uh, philosophical and scientific development of uh, development of uh, scientific and philosophical life in Turkey. Okay, now uh, from another book next year in 1939 is about uh, legal uh, uh, legal aspects of Haldun's sociology. So he wrote uh, a book about uh, Ibn Haldun's uh, legal. Uh, uh, legal sociology, sociology of law, uh, and then in 1941, he wrote, he he had on this article in 1941, uh, statism in culture, state uh, state relationship between state and culture, and that's interesting. In 1945, uh, he wrote about language. Uh, reform, uh, language reform in Turkey and moving from uh, Arabic scripts into Latin scripts. And in 1940s, a kind of Turkification of Ottoman language, uh, Turkey, uh, kind of purging some Persian words and Arabic words and getting rid of Persian Arabic words and inventing Turkish words or borrowing Turkish words from uh, Central Asian, uh, Kyrgyz or Kazakh or uh, Turkmenistan or in you know, other uh, Turkic, Turkic societies, borrowing Turkish words uh, from those. So language, language reform uh, and hence sociology of language uh, was one of the areas of uh, study areas of focus of uh, from the uh, So he has he has written uh, many articles uh, and books on that. Uh, and then he has an interesting uh, book on uh, intra-city transportation in Istanbul. Huh? Transportation. Uh, we now have uh, buses. And underground trains uh, or uh, sea uh, transportation through uh, sea vehicles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So he wrote about this is in 1949. Istanbul'da şehirci insan nakli meselesi ve tramvay işçileri bugünkü durumu. Wow, huh? In Istanbul in 1940s, there was tramway, uh, and there was workers working in trams, tramways, tram, tramways, and there were some issues. In 1952, uh, he has this İzmir'de işçi sendikalar hakkında sosyolojik bazı müşahideler. In 1952, 
he made some observations on uh, unions, labor unions, labor unions in Izmir in 1952. And you see, uh, he is mo moving more uh, towards industrial sociology direction, which we, do, we haven't observed in the Ziyar camp. Now, uh, Fundukova is moving more uh, in the industrial sociology, uh, sociology of transportation, uh, uh, uh, so, uh, urban sociology. Although urban sociology, uh, Hilmi Ziyar Ülken also, uh, he also works on urban sociology, but uh, another book in 1960 and 61, he studied Krabik. Uh, uh, the, the name of the book is uh, Karabük ve Çalışma Sosyolojisi ile, ile ilgili, ile alakalı, alakalı ilgili değil, problemler. Uh, problems that are related to uh, sociology of work in Karabük. Uh, Karabük is coal and steel. Değil mi? Metin. Karabük. Karabük fabrikaları. Establishment mm -hmm. of Karabük factories, and and he is he is doing an industrial sociological research, industrial sociological research on Karabük coal mining and steel production, and uh, he is focusing on sociology of work. Right? And we have to congratulate him. Okay, in nineteen. Uh, 62, uh, he wrote a book on uh, Prince Sabahattin and the play. You see, at the beginning, I said, I don't know whether uh, Farouk and the rest of the friends who were present in this, uh, uh, in this uh, course uh, school uh, virtual, uh, virtual class. I said that these two sociologists are second uh, generation. Uh, now, first generation being Ziya Yukal and Prince Sabahattin. Second generation, Ilmi Ziya Yukal, Farahattin Ziya Fulikoğlu. Now, and I, I also said that uh, Ilmi Ziya Yukal is mostly follower of Ziya Yukal, whereas uh, Fulikoğlu is the follower of Prince Sabahattin and Le Play School. Now, Le Play School uh, is more, if you remember, uh, Le Play and Prince Sabahattin, Ademi Merkeziyetçilik. Whenever you say Prince Sabahattin, Ademi Merkeziyetçilik, and private enterprise. Well, Fundukoğlu uh, uh, is also uh, focusing on uh, Ademi Merkeziyetçilik. And decentral, decentralization, decentralization of authority from central state towards local government, uh, local government, which we are, we have been for 70, 80 years, we have been unable to do that. And Turkish uh, state is so centralized, it is very difficult to centralize it. Although Prince Sabahattin and later uh, Fundukov advised in the direction of decentralization, it is uh, it is interesting. Now he has a book uh, on sociology of uh, sociology, economic sociology, and sociology of uh, economy, economic structures, sociology of economic uh, similar to sociology of work. Industrial sociology, but also different. Uh, and economic sociology is more general. Uh, it includes industrial as well as non industrial, all types of work and production. Uh, and then in 1966, uh, he again did an, uh, a field work in Adapazare this time. Uh, and the name of the book is. Uh, urbanization of Adapazarı, urbanization uh, of Adapazarı and 
uh, its main sociological problems, main sociological problems of urbanization of other Pazarı. Mm, not bad. Uh, 1966. Uh, in the following year, in 1967, he has written uh, uh, Cooperation Sociology, Cooperation. How people can cooperate, Cooperation uh, Sociology. And his last book is in 1971, uh, Courses on Sociology. Courses on sociology. So then we compare. Uh, Ülken and Fundukoğlu uh, in many aspects uh, they follow a similar trajectory. Why? Because they are both uh, living through uh, radical uh, republican reforms of 1920s which are top down from state to society uh, reforms 1920s, 30s and 40s you know, only about 1946, there's a transition from single party uh, regime to multi party, -party regime. So, uh, the, the, there is a kind of a starting point, perhaps, for decentralization. Uh, uh, so, uh, they uh, mainly focused on, uh, in the case of uh, Ülken uh, taught uh, nationalism. Uh, for example, he has uh, some uh, some books and articles on. Uh, can take them seriously. So, in opposition to Ziya Gökal, he is more Turkey centered, Anatolia centered. So, instead of uh, taking care of all Turkish societies in Central Asia or other parts of the world is focusing on uh, Turkish nationalism uh, within the boundaries uh, of uh, Turkey. Ziya Gökalp and Ülken. Uh, Ziya Gökalp uh, uh, is not only focusing on uh, Turkish nationalism, but also he is extending Turkish nationalism as Turanism, let's say, to uh, outside of Turkey, Turkish uh, societies. Whereas Ülken is more strict in this, in restricting uh, uh, into uh, society within the borders of Turkish nation state. Before these two thinkers, Yagyukat and Prensibatin, uh, there is Yusuf Akçura. Yusuf Akçura in 1904, uh, in 1904, has written uh, this book, this small pamphlet actually, uh, which is titled as "Üç Tarzı Siyaset: Three Modes of Politics." Üç Tarzı Siyaset: Three Modes of Politics. Now, there, in 1904, in Ottoman period. There are three different modes, types of uh, doing politics, political ideology. One is Ottomanism. Ottomanism. Ottomanism is the ideology uh, that is defended by some uh, liberal Ottoman thinkers uh, against against what? Against uh, Islamism, while some Ottoman thinkers are uh, defending uh, that Ottoman Empire should not restrict itself to the boundaries of Ottoman Empire, but think of all the Muslim societies in the world. And there were all, also, uh, this is called Islam, Islamist uh, current or Islamist mode of uh, political uh, ideology or political uh, politics. And the third one was the Turkists, that is combining uh, or considering all Turks, uh, all Turkish societies in the world, not only uh, Turkish society within the 
boundaries of uh, of Turkey. So there were these three: Ottomanism and sorry, Turkçülük, Osmanlıcılık, İslamcılık. Now uh, Ziya Gökal moved from here to, as you know, the, one of his last books was Turkçülük. Look him, Turkçülük. Ah, Türkleşmek, İslamlaşmak, muasırlaşmak. Uh, Turkification, uh, Islamization, and modernization. So uh, uh, he, okay, inevitably, uh, he moved away from Ottomanism. But uh, there is a Turkism uh, or Turanism that extends beyond uh, the boundaries, it seems. Uh, but you are right, he is actually founder of Turkish nationalism within the boundaries of Turkish nation state. Now, Hilmiz uh, Ayurkan continued in the same sphere, even he further narrowed and he became, uh, in his youth in 1930s, he was a member of Anadolu Hareket, a member of uh, a political movement which advocated focusing on Anatolian uh, culture, Anatolian uh, population, uh, and, uh, instead of European part, etc. You know, that, uh, uh, that kind of a thing. Uh, so uh, I will say that Musia uh, can continued in terms of philosophy, history of thought, study of culture, ideology, uh, he doesn't have uh, uh, field research. Whereas Fundukolu went in the direction of field research in Karabük field research, Adapazarı, Izmir, uh, unions in Izmir. So, and he went in the direction of uh, uh, industrial sociology, uh, sociology of work, uh, so, uh, sociology of economic structures or economic uh, sociology. So they diverged, right? diverged, diverged project, uh, pro uh, projectories, diverged. Uh, they, they started from a common uh, 1930s, 40s, centralist, uh, culturalist, uh, ideological uh, centrist uh, uh, focus and can look all the mood towards uh, area studies, field studies, empirical research. Okay, I will uh, uh, review one more article and finish this course. Okay. The last article is by Hıdır Önür. Now, this article uh, is about about uh, Fundikolo. Uh, actually, actually, it's published in 2017, uh, three years ago. Uh, it's called uh, Türk Sosyolojisinde Ziyadettin Fahri Fundikolo. Ziyadettin Fahri Fundikolo in Turkish Sociology. Uh, uh, so, uh, I, I, you can see the article I uh, uploaded it uh, into here, into uh, this uh, fifth week uh, material. Uh, but I uh, copied its uh, abstract here. And Fudur uh, Önür uh, says that Fundukolo uh, is continuing to be interesting in the contemporary Turkey because uh, many of the problems that he dealt with uh, is continuing uh, in the present. So, uh, and it is, is, is making why he is still relevant uh, while he is writing about the identifiable performance. He is also talking about uh, his relevance uh, to the uh, present day uh, social, uh, social problems. Uh, I advise you. Uh, Treat that, uh, and there is also again from Anatolian University uh, 
a video uh, which talks about directly uh, on uh, on the item far uh, from the call no? right. uh, as you may be heard and there's also uh, a comparison of Fundikoğlu with a previous sociologist, which I didn't include into our curriculum, into our outline, Mehmet Izzet. Mehmet Izzet is an Ottoman period sociologist. One of his earlier fields, which is uh, the development of uh, scientific and uh, philosophical life in Turkey. Scientific and development of scientific and philosophical life. Uh, his early focus is on this, language and uh, uh, uh, scientific and philosophical life in Turkey. What kind of life is this? How, how uh, it can be, uh, how, how a local uh, national uh, approach can be developed, how a local uh, national approach can be developed. Actually, uh, maybe we can say that uh, Fundikoğlu is one of the initiators of uh, uh, nativistic and nationalistic approach, uh, uh, local and national. Yerli ve milli. There is a, a contemporary, this, this is this is a phrase, phrase used in everyday life, everyday political life. Uh, so uh, Fundikoğlu was one of the early uh, defenders of, of that kind of approach.